Call a new fame select board meeting to order. Welcome everybody here, the board, Ken, Shannon, PCTV. Uh, is there any additions or amendments to the agenda? I have one slight one, which won't take very long. Um, Newburgh Fire Department using the town garage. Under new business, is that where we put that? Sure. <clears throat> Anybody got anything else want to add to the agenda? <clears throat> Hearing none. I do ha have a question. Um, would it be wise to move the uh, town meeting plans and presentations until after the old business discussions and votes? Why? Well, I'm just thinking <clears throat> that um, <clears throat> If we do have um, Mr. Nima come, uh, he could leave early. I don't know that he's coming. He's not coming? I don't, I don't know if he is. Okay. If he does come, then we can change it around if we want to. Is that all right? Okay. Do we have any plans? Yeah, under new business. All right. The first order of business is the minutes of February 20th, 2017. Mm -hmm. Can I have a motion one way or the other? I make the motion to accept the minutes. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the minutes of February 20, 2017 as written. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? Me. I'm abstaining. All right. The next order of business is road <laughs> business. There's plenty of that. <clears throat> Not really. If I can find it. The roads are in good shape now. We've had, we did have some minor washing of some of the roads during the last heavy rain, but we've been out with the back one and radio shaping them up, tipping them back up again. Um, just before the storm, we've been out with the grader pushing the snow banks <coughs> back, um, which helped a lot, kept a lot of the roads from washing, so that was a plus. Some of the roads are pretty, have pretty good potholes in them right now, and as soon as it warms up enough, we will be grading the roads. Most of the dirt roads are posted for mud season, and I've told the loggers as long as it's below 20 degrees, they can get their logs out. They should check with me. So far, they've been cooperative. As far as the equipment goes, the crew has been servicing the trucks, doing oil changes and greasing them. Uh, that way, they should be all ready for, some, for the summer work. 2013 MAC has been to Coleman's Repair for a hydraulic seal leaking on the PTO pump and a bad U-joint on the PTO shaft. Otherwise, the equipment is running okay. <coughs> River Road Bridge. The legal load limit signs are posted at the bridge, and I will get a hold of Mark Pickering so Shannon and I can work with him drawing up the bid proposals fairly soon. We did get all the legal signs put up that it's posted now for four tons. <coughs> and it was changed with the state, too, so. Yeah. <coughs> so the state AOT can enforce it if they see trucks going over it now. Uh, the Arch Bridge, Shannon sent that letter that we talked about to the state reps and senators, letting them, letting them know that the town is not happy about the two-year delay in funding for that bridge. As far as the Williamsville Hall goes, it is open, and we've set it up for town meeting. Jeff Russ came and got it running again. The furnace is on and running. We have it set for 65. No guarantees it'll be that warm. Um, it takes it forever to warm up. When we left it, quarter of three it was up to 40 so um, I think the town really should before you put a lot of money into that building you need to get somebody over there to look at that because a lot of the doors especially on the left hand side of the buildings you're walking in are not closing now you got one bathroom door upstairs that doesn't close got a bathroom door downstairs that doesn't close we've got the water where the water works room is there that's not closing so it would pay I think before they put a whole ton of money into other things to check the sills in that building just to make sure we don't have a rotted sill somewhere. Um, it may be nothing, it may be just because it hasn't been heated this winter and it's just going to take it a while, but it seems kind of odd that it's all on the left-hand side of the building. If you look at the roof, it's got a 
really big sag in it, but I'm not sure if it was built that way. So obviously I, this is my last bite here, so I would just ask the next board to take a look at that at some point. Do you know when the last time the building was inspected? I have no idea. I don't know if it ever has been. <laughs> Structurally, I'm not sure. Has it ever had a comprehensive structure evaluation by uh, engineers? I not, not that I know. <clears throat> it just seems very strange to me that these doors all of a sudden are not closing. So, um, well, like you said earlier, though, they might pay to have it checked out just for the purpose of putting all the people in their town meetings and stuff. Right to see what the load plays. See what the load rating is on it. Yep. Before we have something, we may find out tomorrow. <laughs> That's another reason I'm not going to town. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, excuse me. Oh, did you want to say something? Yes, oh. you are going to town meeting. I don't know if I know how he's, to get he's there. He's going there. Tomorrow. He'll be there tomorrow. That is all I have. <coughs> Motion to accept. I accept. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second it then. Okay, the motion has been made, seconded to accept the road performance report. Is there any discussion? On the Arch Bridge, did we hear anything back from anybody? In they just uh, they just gone out. Oh, they okay. Out, so. Hopefully, we hear something back. Yep. I have a question. Have you had any complaints <clears throat> from citizens or truckers about um, the uh, river road bridge? No, we did. Uh, I did tell Shannon about one oil company that was going over it. She called them up. And they said they wouldn't do it anymore. They didn't realize it. Just, they didn't see the signs in it. And the state police, police have been alerted that that's a, a place that needs to be checked. Right. That's what you know. Just talking about. It. <coughs> They've been notified. So. Okay. It says posted legal weight limit four <coughs> tons, and underneath that it says no truck. So. It's okay. posted pretty obviously now. So. Okay. Good. Is there any other comments? Hearing none, all those in favor of the road performance road commissioner's report signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed to abstaining, I'm abstaining obviously. But the ayes have it. Okay. Where are we here? Unscheduled members of the public. Ken? I nothing? Have, I have nothing to add and nothing to subtract. Shannon? Nothing. BCTV? Nothing. <laughs> this is what I like. New business. <clears throat> Town meeting plans and presentations. Discussion. Um, I know Yohana was going to come and just show you quickly what she has for tomorrow. For Wyndham Solid Waste? Yes. She was. She was there she is. There she is. She actually is well, we were just <laughs> speaking of your name. Oh, perfect timing. But you're running out of time. So. <laughs> no, you have plenty of time. Did you want to get the screen over there? Yes, I do. Okay. I also want to know what happened. Yes. Yep. Um, okay. I brought you guys some paperwork again. And I'll read you my presentation. And I was you. actually looking for input. <laughs> Thank you. Did you do a third page here? You know, when you go into the um, Presenting like posters. Or? Well, I can. I wanted to ask you. Um, I wanted to ask you what you thought. So, I'm going to turn my glasses. All right, I'm going to this. So, my presentation is: I'm here to discuss with you the current choices facing our town regarding recycling. For a variety of reasons, at a recent WS WMD meeting, towns voted to close the MRF or the Materials Recovery <coughs> Facility, where recyclables are sorted. This left all towns in a situation of having to fend for themselves to deal with re recyclables. Our town is faced with one question. Do the townspeople of Newfane still want to have recycling services available to them for up to $30,000 annually? Um, two, I should take that out, sorry. Will the people of Newfane uh, give the select board approval to find a solution costing up to $30,000 per year on recycling? A few things to consider. This would mean a 10 to $30 increase per household per year, depending on the value of their home and the ultimate solution found. Two, our choices of recycling collection could be the same with bins in which to put your bottles, cans, and paper, but we would either have to have a new arrangement with the MRF at the district, or we would rely on private haulers to do the removal. 
The cost is much higher than it was when the district was hauling. Um, or we might decide to go with a transfer station. This is a more involved choice which will require more inv investigation. And if you think that it would be good, I could put up, that's where I could have a chart that shows the different options. No, I think that would be good. Okay, we'll need to find a new location for the bins. That's correct, right? Yeah. Um, if we do not have any service in Newfane, you will be able to take your recyclables to Brattleboro yourself, but there will be some kind of fee for the district dealing with them, which has not yet been decided upon. Or, of course, you can have a private hauler come directly to your house to take trash and recyclables. Five, please feel free to come and talk with me if you would like more information about the MRF or the district. I don't really want the discussion to get into, you know, why, why was it voted to close or any of that kind of thing, because it's not really the forum for that. Um, so do you think that's enough information for voters? Um, <coughs> Are you going to be open to questions from the Yeah. 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 I have a question on uh, number four. Okay. Um, y you say here that we would be able, what was that? It's just my water bottle. Oh. Uh, we would be able, or p citizens would be able to take their recyclables to Brattleboro, but there'll be some kind of fee. There's always been some kind of fee. Not for recyclables. No, not for recyclables, just yeah. for garbage. Yes. Yeah. So you will have to also pay a fee for recycling. If, uh, if the MRF is no longer open, that means that that stuff has to be picked up and trucked somewhere else. So they will charge something for it. Has it ever been suggested how much that would be? Um, I think it will be a relatively small fee somewhere I, I in the neighborhood. I would think so of, too. You know, yeah. and it's probably going to be rolled into the fee for dropping off garbage. Yes. I would say you probably need to be prepared for the question of this, why the bins can't be here anymore. I'm not saying I have to answer it, but I'm, I'm saying that that question will, I know will come up. Somebody will ask, why can, I, why can we not have this anymore? Well, I think it's because the land's been sold to WW, right? It hasn't been yet, but it's being worked on. And that would be the reason. Is that, it's okay for me to answer that, right? Right. So the land may be sold to WW? Right. Just prepping you for that. Sure, you sure. a, I just got an email from Whiteham today. I think it was Whiteham. Yeah. With a pretty <clears throat> direct and nasty letter to the Wind of Solid Waste about where the, all the money's going. Yeah. And Have you seen this? No. Is that the letter? Yeah, that's the letter. Oh, we didn't get the same. Did you get send it out there? I did forward it to everybody, but I don't know. I guess I didn't get a copy. Oh, this came through our email today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Just today? It was addressed to me. Oh, I haven't been online this afternoon. Yeah, well, I did haven't you get it? Um, yeah. from, what, from what I understand, um, <clears throat> from what I understand, because towns have been um, always wanting to be conservative and not see, see the costs go up, uh, every year they've tried to keep the budget as flat as possible, and as a result, um, you know, the market is constantly going up and down, and when it's on a down curve, mm -hmm. you have less income and less revenue. And um, Why don't we have Marion read that yes, so that everybody yeah. knows what we're All talking right. about? Okay, this is from the Whitingham Select Board Office, dated March 6th, um, and it's written at, to Wyndham Solid Waste Management District member select boards via email. Dear Select Boards, we are very concerned about WSWMD. We question how the district's net liquid assets of 486,000 have been whittled away since June 30th, 2012, to the extent that the district, including us, the member towns, are now $100,000 in debt. It seems clear that gross mismanagement is the answer. The complete lack of fiscal responsibility shown by the district is outrageous. We feel the lack of foresight in how to deal with the ever-changing commodities market most likely caused this financial problem. Are you aware of this crisis? The Whitingham Select Board would like you to join us to respectfully demand that the WSWMD tighten their belt and stop the frivolous spending. 
We also recommended that they stop wasting employee and director's time and effort on researching, keeping the MRF going, MRF going. It was already voted by the supervisors to close the MRF, shut it down sooner rather than later. We urge select boards to advise their representative to vote no on taking out any loans. A responsible alternative would be to sell the equipment and trucks and then take a hard look at the viability of keeping the district running. Increasing assessments to cover these losses is not being responsible to our tax taxpayers. Sincerely, the Whitingham Select Board. Um, I can't really speak to the um, to the deficit. I mean, my understanding, like I said, is that over the years, you know, all of us, all of us board reps, have a responsibility of voting on the budget. So, um, <coughs> you know, I, I think that that's part of what's been happening, and I apologize for not being more aware of where things were headed. Um, but I do think that they, um, yeah, I do think that they, uh, they are trying to shut down this effort that I am spearheading to try to keep the MRF open, and I don't really understand it because you can see how much it costs to offer recycling. That's, that's on the table in front of you. I actually gave you a sheet with the figures showing um, what it will cost for us to deal with it on our own. And it's not a savings. Um, so I think that, yes, we have gotten ourselves into a bit of a hole, but I think that it's possible to bring the thing around. And I hear from Trevor, who's um, one of the guys who quoted me on mm -hmm. recycling costs, that, that the market is coming back up now again, that paper is, is really getting to be worth a lot. So I think that it's partially a question of building a, a cushion of some kind into the budget, and, and I don't think we've done a good job of that, frankly. Um, I know that some of the towns have, have a bit of a beef with various things that are going on in the district, and it's, I don't know how well-founded it is. Um, it's maybe involving some other issues that came up between them and um, you know, the management there. So. Um, I feel like this MRF provides us a service that's really valuable. Um, and um, I did speak today with, uh, with Trevor, and he was telling me, or, or discussing with me, the um, transfer station idea again. Um, I think that's kind of a big, um, it's a big project, which will require a fair amount of um, thinking and planning if we were going to go that route. It involves getting a compactor. Did you already hear about this? I can't remember. So we did it a couple of meetings ago. Yeah. We talked about this. Oh, I the cost for a compactor and um, the maintenance and... And, um, and having an attendant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you, have have, you have to have more than one attendant. Yeah, so I think that it'd be really worthwhile to get Trevor to come in and talk to us about mm -hmm. how to go about doing that. Um, he did seem to think that the state, the regulations that the state is sending down may push us in that direction. So, I mean, I, I just think we should keep our options as open as possible. That's my, mm -hmm. that's my. Now who's Trevor uh, from William Solid Waste? No, he's um, from, from Tam. Tam. Tam, yeah. Um, so th I have quotes for Goodenough. So that's on the other sheet that I gave you. There's quotes from Goodenough, mm -hmm. uh, Triple T, and from Trevor. And, um, you know, good enough in Triple T, it's, it's pretty expensive, you know, like I said, you have to rent the, you have to rent the bin, you have a, a fee for the trucking, and you also have a, um, a fee for processing of the material. Um, Trevor said that um, he would charge us $270 per haul to truck one bin of the current size. Um, we were having about 130 hauls per year, so roughly three per week, two to three per week. Um, that's pretty expensive, but he says if you get a compactor, um, it cuts down on the hauling fee, which is the highest cost of this whole operation. And he also would give um, some money back on paper. Mm -hmm. so. 
you still have to have an attendant. Yes. Yeah, that's what he said. So you're not really But he said anything. that you can you can make some money off of charging people for each bag of garbage that they bring. You mean so recycling? No, no, no. no garbage. garbage. So because if you have a transfer station, you have to have garbage as well. Yeah. So it's a pretty complicated thing that I think we, we need to do a bunch of research to be able to, you know, consider. I mean, I think my goal tomorrow is to just see do people want recycling still? And if they do, are they willing to pay, you know, up to a certain amount? And then after that, you guys are going to figure out. Now, the other, um, what was I see here somewhere? You had down, I guess it's on that page. 10 or $30 mm -hmm. per Ten, household. Right. Mm -hmm. That's to cover this 30000 Yes. That's on top of what we're already paying when it's all the way, right? Right, which is about 15 So that means, like, guys like Todd and all of us guys that have garbage guys, we're paying now $70 a month to pay to get our rubber job, but we're this paying 40 right now. And this is take a year, though. This is a year versus a month. I thought it was a month. Yeah. Well, per year, year, 10 to 30. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had a question about that, too. Maybe if you just add in the tax bill to the sentence. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The way I kind of look at the whole thing is that Murph does close down, which, I mean, they're the ones who told us they were shutting it down. Right. Yeah. I mean, it isn't that we just come out and go to the it. They come up more or less said they're closing it down. And I've talked to them a couple times down there, too, and that's what they said. It is. And I just think it's going to come to a point where you got to have private haulers do it. Not so much even putting these bends out there. So are we getting a clear message from, uh, you know, Wyndham municipal waste, are we getting a clear message or are they just saying that um, we perhaps may be doing this, we perhaps might be having reinstating MERV? Right, so Carol, what happened is that we had the vote uh, around the beginning of December. Right. Um, it kind of threw everything into a tailspin because we thought that it had passed and then, mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly how that all happened, but we thought it had passed and then it turned out, you know, it went down. And, um, and I don't know, the time just goes and you know, you, you don't have a plan. Um, so, I mean, the plan was to close the MRF and it, right. because I, I said to them that I think it'd be worth considering, is there another way of doing this? Because once you close the MRF, it's gone. And then we have no recourse, you know? Um, I don't know if it's the best choice, but I think it's worth figuring out if it's the best choice before you totally close it. So that was my request, is can we look at some figures and see if there's a way that the towns who, were, who, who wanted the MRF to stay open, which is actually more of the towns, because Brattleboro has six votes in this thing. The rest of us get one. So, um, so my request was, can we just look and see, is there another way to organize it so that each town, you know, we will, will end up paying more, I'm <coughs> sure. But it, could be less than what we would have to pay haulers, right? So the question is, what would it cost for us to still keep the MRF open and the towns who want to participate do so? So it's really just a, it's just a sort of a research question. And whether or not it turns out that it makes sense, I'll actually probably know by Thursday. So if we have tomorrow, uh, you know, the uh, tons of people jumping up and saying, we want to have a uh, MRF again. We need MRF back. We need to do something with MRF. We can't really say that's going to happen. No. Okay. No, see, that's what I can't figure out. Who yeah, owns so that it's MRF? just like, it's crazy making, actually. We it's crazy making. Right. I mean, it's not the town. No. So, I mean, if we voted to say keep it going, we're going to try to make it work. You can't make it work if they don't let you in the building. That's there, it. So. so it's it's really crazy making. You know, you really... Well, um, a couple weeks ago, we had a meeting to discuss, is it okay if we go forward with just looking at the question of, can we use the MRF as a, as a group of separate towns? Mm -hmm. And the board voted, yes, that's okay. So that's where we're at, is we're doing a study to see uh, if it makes sense. Right. So on Thursday, we'll discuss if it makes sense and if, if it's something which we can do. Um, it's still theoretical at that point because, you know, a town like Newfane has to decide, has to look at their options and decide is right. this, is this the best option for the town? You know, 
we did decide that we wanted to take our time with this, that we have until the end yes. of June. Yes. I mean, I to think you, research. you know, this is just oh, a question research. of are the townspeople wanting the recycling right. bins enough to spend up to $30,000 right. a year to have them? Extra. Yes. And after that, then, then you know, you guys and I'll help you as much right. as I can and have to figure out uh, what is that going to look like. Mm -hmm. It looks like all we can do tomorrow is listen carefully. Yeah, right. we're just getting opinions. And try to get a sense of what the public thinks. Yeah. Right. Um, and try to, we'll put some uh, chain link fencing around you so the beer bottle won't hit you. <laughs> She's going to get that bad. I can wear my hockey gear. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to. No, I think it's going to be. Well, I think the whole thing with a lot of it, anyways, is really coming down to the point where it's going to have to be done a lot. I mean, like these guys. Yep. I mean, they might be a nonprofit or whatever they are, you know, but they're still a business. And they got guys that tend to that every day. It's just like if the towns tried to get a group of towns together to run that, who's going to run it? You know, you're going to have to have a board of people that runs this. You're going to have it's to. It's going to be the same guys. It's, it's going to be. be same it's going to be the. It's going to be the same people. Because it's a complex so that, subject. It's not easy, as you know. But I mean, they want out of it because it's a losing battle for them. Right. Who wants out of it? One in solid ways, from what I've been told. Well, uh, you know, you've got a board that's, I wrote this down here. There are 20 towns in the district, okay? 19 of them are voting members. It's down at the bottom of your sheet. Yeah, I see. Um, Brattleboro has six votes, okay? So, oh, I'm sorry, I wrote down the wrong method. It's a total of 25 votes. Um, so the vote to close the MRF was passed on the number of votes, not on the popular vote. More towns voted to keep the MRF open, but Brattleboro got six votes, which tipped the scale. Um, the official vote was 13 yeas and 10 nays, um, and two towns were absent. So I think most towns are not very happy about this. And I, I, I don't really understand Brattleboro's one. What, are, what is Brattleboro there. doing? What are they going to do? They doing? are going with a private hauler. But I think it's going to cost them a lot of money. But everybody? I'm sorry? Everybody in Brattleboro will have their own private hauler. Well, the town. The, the town. town. Um, right. But, you know, they're still going to be subject to, if people bring their recycling to the, to the, um, hauler. No, to, to the, the dump. dump. Yeah, exactly. If they it's bring their recycling over there, they have to pay. You know, they have to. You have to have a sticker and um, to use. Do the a lot recycling. of people in Brattleboro now have their own haulers? Um, Businesses often. I do. think. Yeah, I think a lot of them do. Um, I don't. I don't have figures on that. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I mean, I just wonder what uh, percentage. Of has it, and if that is swaying the vote one way or another. Um, people are saying they're already their own thing. They do. Yeah, they have they curbside pickup too. Yeah. So of the, I know that Brattleboro um, and Putney have similar numbers of halls uh, per year, which I think is like 300 or something. So pretty much daily they're having something picked up. Mm -hmm. So all that stuff is going to go away. I mean, all those bins are going to go away. Um, but I guess I guess they'll still have bins. They'll just they'll be getting picked up by Casella. So Casella is single stream. Um, yeah, it's a different. All right. I thought it all went to Triple T, and, they, and then Triple T takes it to Casella. Isn't that what it's supposed to be done? It's only yeah, maybe that that's how it They pick it up curbside right there. The recycling and everything is going to Triple T, and Triple T goes single stream and goes away to Casella. But I think that they must have bins still. I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. I think they must have bins as well. Okay. Well. I mean, our bins are in place until July, anyhow. Right. So, so right. do you think that I should do a, a poster where I show the, the four different choices? Um, having nothing, having private haulers, having a transfer station, or going with the march? I think that would uh, be I great do. if you could do that. Yeah, if, I have, if, you I have, have, if you have time. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I do. I brought home butcher paper so I can. Thank you. Well, we also had the option of keeping what we've got, just moving the bin someplace else, right? But we don't. If the if WW buys the No, property. I said moving the bins to another location on the property. No, they're not going to pick them up no more. 
I know, we'd have to have them picked up privately. What? They were going to do that one time. They were actually, weren't they thinking of giving them or selling them to the towns? Giving and them now I've heard that they want to keep that stuff for work. another year. Yeah. They're not going to let it sell off and stuff and keep it all for a year. Yeah, they're, pretty bad. they're in pretty bad shape. Well, the goal of that was to quote unquote mothball things. Right, in case it comes So back. that we see what happens, you know, in the course of the year. Again, it's trying to be a little bit thoughtful and careful mm -hmm. about not totally abandoning the ship when it could turn out that. You know, it's, it's a bad thing for us. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best thing for encouraging recycling and, you know, making everybody's lives. Mm -hmm. Well, it actually work. is part of state law. Uh, also. Yeah. Um, That's yeah. one of the problems. Yeah. The state so. puts too many laws on us and they can't handle it and it's not even figured out before they pass them, you know? They should sure have solutions for all this stuff before they put laws into place, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> it would be more convenient for sure. That's true of quite a few things in I, public government. <laughs> we struggled with this on the Cape. And um, last week I was back there cleaning up some of my property and I had to go to the uh, transfer station. And uh, they, it was on the ballot, on the, on the finance committee. But the, it's going to cost us money. How do you want to do it? It's going to cost you this much on the tax bill or you can have pay as you throw. And the people said, we want to we want to still be picked up exactly the same way. We're willing to pay the taxes to do it. Um, and so they did that, and then they now they charge four dollars a bag along with that. Oh, and they also take in other items which they charge for. But the items that were previously free to recycle, that's been expanded considerably. They'll take any plastic; doesn't have to have a number on it at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know the place looks cleaner and better than it's ever looked. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, they charge four dollars a bag for what you throw, but then again, almost everything is recyclable. So what you throw is a lot less than, than what you used to throw away. So it's like a it's like a transfer station it's, with an attendant. It's and, a oh yeah, it's a it's a transfer station with full staff. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to haul their own up to up uh, Cape to a processor. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you know they so they have to have a tractor and a trailer on the road at least a couple of times a week making that haul. And they have had one situation where that uh, some um, illegal material got into one of the trailers, the medical waste, uh -huh. uh, and it was picked up at the transfer station. The truck had to come right back, it got emptied right into the trash. yard, mm -hmm. and uh, it had to pick through until they find the trash and then repack the, the compactor back up. Wow. That is not something you want to have happen. Wow. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, anybody got anything else? You're all set for tomorrow, then. Are you going to be? All right. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yes. Thank you for writing on. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else in your town meeting plans and presentations? Um. How heavily should we dress? Yes. Oh, well, it was 40 in there when I left. It. Quarter of three, so. Parkas. Um, and uh, yes, I think I had some questions. On Article 7, uh, who votes and do we have any kind of average amount per house owner that it would be, um, that uh, we would be raising in taxes? Article 7. Article it says, uh, shall the voters of the town of Newfane authorize the select board to raise the amount of 2006, uh, 206,400 for fiscal year 2018 capital needs. And um, so the voters are now voting to authorize the board to raise a portion in taxes. Do so we know what first, that portion is? Yes, the portion is the, that. So you voted to spend a certain amount. That's that first article. Right. And then out of that amount that you're spending, you're then the next few articles are, are just portions how you're getting of that, that money. larger amount. Mm -hmm. Correct. So $28,000 <clears throat> is about a penny on the tax rate. So that would be about five cents. Per 
But you said this was an Article One. Seven. No, seven. No, seven. But you, you were referring back to Article Six. 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 Six, six is where we six, asked six. for. Yeah. To spend. Three hundred eighty-one thousand. Right. Part of which is coming from two hundred and six thousand raised yeah. by taxes. Right. Right. Um, Thirty thousand that would be borrowed. Yeah. And then. Hundred thousand for capital reserve. Yeah. Right. So the rest will come from um, the reserve fund. Yep. Okay. So six begat seven, eight, and nine. Well, actually, only seven and eight. The nine is to replenish the funds. Yeah, but it also comes out of that money that we're asking for under six, right? No. Okay. So it's only six, seven, eight related. Yep. Some of that money was from the surplus. No, the surplus, you can't touch that yet because it didn't get put in until this fiscal year that we're in right now, so it doesn't show up as. For next year. Right, so. Are you going to be there tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I know we voted for the $100,000. Are you going to be sitting on the front the row just ready to no, stand up and tell everybody? I know you do. So we're not asking that for anymore. Apparently. Apparently. Uh, yeah. When we um, when we voted to um, put a hundred thousand dollars in the capital reserve fund, um, did, that was capital. That was uh, money that we already have. No, Is that correct? That's not raising raising That's our our nine. We did that last year too. The same amount last year. Mm -hmm. In fact, okay. we've got a healthy reserve in capital. Yeah. Capital reserve, right? What? You've got a fairly healthy amount in capital reserve. You will if you stop spending it. <laughs> we well, we did use some of it. <laughs> what are we spending capital reserve on? Well, other than... Uh, a lot of it is going towards paying off debt. Okay. So, but then you, if you take out another loan, then your debt service goes up, and then you have to use more of it to pay off your debt. Mm. So, you have to you have to balance it. But yeah, it's I, good. I mean, it's better than it has been. And you have several bridges to. Yes. Depending on when they do them, it's going to be coming out of there. Yeah, yeah. So this capital reserve is saying is putting money aside for several things, but one very important thing is for the arch bridge. Yes. And the river road bridge. Mm -hmm. And the river road bridge. Yeah. River road bridge will be going sooner than the arch bridge. We'll make a nice song, the river road bridge. You can sing that tomorrow at town okay, meeting. Thanks. We don't have any entertainment. We can sell enough albums to help pay the bridge out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we done with that? or? Um, I, I think so. Anybody else uh, as confused as I am? <laughs> um, Shannon will walk us all right through it tomorrow. Or he's oh, right. Right. I'll still be outstanding. But I, I remember that Tahiti, last year. I didn't get a walk through. <laughs> all right. Okay. Next order of business was Newbrook Fire Department using the town garage. And what that's about is we have a brush truck that was donated to us that needs some body work done to it and then paint it. And obviously, we can't do it at the firehouse. Mm -hmm. So we were wondering if we could use the town garage. We have a paint bay there, mm -hmm. places where we use. I make a motion to go ahead and use it. I second that. I second that. Yeah. Okay, the motion's been made and seconded to let the Newbrook Fire Department use the town garage to do some body work and some painting on their brush truck. Is there any discussion? When would this take place? Fairly soon. I'm trying to get it done before brush fire season. We're running out of time. So it'll probably be starting like this weekend maybe. You're going to paint a camouflage? No, it used to be probably. Back <laughs> in the day it's an old military truck. But About how long do you think it would be it would take to complete the job? I don't really know. A week, maybe two. You got to bring out the dings or rust, and then bondo it, and then sand it all down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Abstaining or opposed? I am abstaining for obvious reasons. The ayes have it. On your old business, Wyndham Solid Waste Management District Solar Metering Program discussion. In front of you is this 
This GL, that's not in, right? No, that's the green This one here, this big giant no, one there's here. There's an unclean copy. Right here. Which is. That's, this is all the updates? This is the yeah, amendment. I just pulled it apart. The rest of it's there. No, she's got page one. <laughs> is it? It is. Um, no? No. This that is, only is the final, final contract with the amendment that Rich Carroll said answers all of his concerns. Um, also attached to that is an email from Rich saying right. it addresses his concerns and they actually fix the typo he talks about. The, uh, there you highlighted we can do that. Okay. Shannon, I've looked over the amendment. I think it does cover my concerns. First, it gives the town the right to assign a portion of its allocation to another utility user as long as that customer meets program requirements. So if the town is not using up its metering credits, it could find someone else to use them and share the cost. That addresses my concerns regarding sections 1.3 and 8.3. Second, the new Section 7.2D makes clear that the company has to mitigate its damages if the town breaches the agreement for any reason. The only change not made, which still should be made, is the reference to in Section 9.4 is to the Section 15, and it should be to Section 14. Section 9.4 talks about billing disputes, and Section 14 not section 15 talks about how to resolve those but that is a minor minor typo and i'm not too concerned about it so i would suggest that the amendment pr provides a few more protections to the town and i would recommend the town approve it and sign it rich and they actually did fix that last typo so it says 14. people comfortable with this or I'll make a motion to accept it based on the attorney's re recommendations do you want to read any of it or not out loud, but I mean for your <laughs> personal? Uh, well, uh, not at this moment. All right. Okay. Um, if you, you make a motion to. Yeah. Uh, to approve the. Um, the um, amended. The, the amended version based on Rich Carroll's recommendations. Is there a second? Second. second. Uh, this is to the. This is to the solar field at Windham. Solar agreement. Wastewater. Yeah, the okay. That meter. That meter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, Clarify. Is there any other discussion on that? Did you second it? I did. Okay. Yeah. Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? The ayes have it. There's places to sign. I can find them for you if you want, if you hand them to me. I think we should get those little arrows. Can you hand that to Shane? I will. That would be great. Thank you. Green Lantern Solar Contract Discussion and Vote. Why do we want that one? Okay. This one. I'll just update you quickly. I don't think he's going to be here because he um, is working to take all of Rich's recommendation and changes and put them exactly in the contract exact, you know, the way he wanted them. Um, so perhaps we should wait till that table it. Mm -hmm. so that's well, done. Yeah, because um, I also handed out a notice of right. proposed lease. Um, which was posted in four public places and it will be in the newspaper on Wednesday. And so that sort of, you have to wait at least 30 days anyway. So that gives him time, um, not a lot though, because he's going to send it back to me so that people can come to the town office and, and we have to it. send it to mm -hmm. Rich um, Carroll and I think we get it back. And yeah, <coughs> so Rich will need to look at it, make sure that it addresses the Perfect. Everything. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, really so should we just not we'll do anything about it. it or table it? Um, I don't really need, need to table it because I'm telling you that I that it was still a number of steps still out there. Yeah, yeah. so um, I think mm -hmm. just wait for that notice. You know, and anybody that comes in, I'll share the lease with them. Well, the action the request was discussion and, and vote, vote. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm sure i don't feel that comfortable voting at this point no well, i would vote i, I would vote to table it until yeah. the, until materials were represented absolutely there a second yeah. i second motions are made and seconded to table green lantern solar contract until such time that it all gets put into the con our attorneys 
Mm -hmm. Insurance get put into the contract. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? The ayes have it. We are down to pay orders. I want to say something. Uh oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Everybody put your hands up. Oh dear. I want to say something. I know Todd's about to run out of here, but I do have to tell the public that this is Todd's last night as chairperson of Select Board. Mm -hmm. And although he is very happy going off into retirement from this job, he still will have many other jobs that he does for pay and for volunteering his time in New Fame. But I personally have to say that he has been the greatest chairperson. And I believe that, I always believe that um, things start from the top down. And the way Todd has been as chairperson, I think has really um, affected us in such a way that we've been very positive together, all of us. We've worked very um, well together. And I really believe that it's, it's how Todd has been and his attitude with things. And he's been great. And I'm going to miss him. Disagree as well. I, I, I disagree. I have a second different opinion. No, actually. <laughs> Motion to approve the statue to be located in the, in the town. Yes, fair right. At a place convenient to the pigeons. Wyndham Solid Waste <laughs> District. Oh, God, it's terrible. <laughs> well, I can tell you that it's been a pleasure for me to be on this board. I think we've worked really well together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we I've been on a lot of the boards for the last nine years, and I think we work together really well. And I think you and the people in the town of Newfane for putting up with me for nine years. It's been a good time, but it's time for me to move on. So thank you, and hopefully you guys will carry on just the way you are. There's no reason not to. Thank you for yeah. your service. Thank you. Yes, thank yeah, you really. so much. Thank you we, so we, much. You've done a great job. Thanks. I will still be around, so if you really get in the blind, <laughs> need a comedian and, at a meeting, just let me know and I show up. Okay, in. and we have had fun. That's that's the thing, I think. That, you're absolutely. Saying, yeah, and I think we all just have really good personalities together, and, and it's been a great experience. Yeah. yeah. I've so enjoyed far. working with all of you, and enjoyed working with Shannon. I will still test for Shannon as Rose Foreman. Oh, my God. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Well, and we'll start testing you a little bit more uh, as well. <laughs> yeah, now I have to listen before I could just kind of chuckle it off. <laughs> I mean, the other thing is, Shannon always sits over there, but she is so important to us. Yeah. And we couldn't. She will be there for you. She always will oh, be there for she, you. Well, and I would also. We could like, not be without Shannon. We could not be without I'm, her. She's fantastic. I'm going to do a Marianne. I have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And what I have to say is that we had a. Um, a wonderful potluck celebration earlier today, we did. and it was for all of those um, workers, uh, elected officials and workers who are um, retiring, and uh, Shannon was the one who put so much effort into making this happen, even though it was my idea. No, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she does all kinds of great work <laughs> behind the scenes that nobody really knows about. Um, and so thank you for that as well. Thank you. Thanks. Really? Absolutely. Yes, we're done. Make it two statues convenient to the pigeons. Sure. Uh, Maybe you just take the recycle bins and put little plaques on them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you oh, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, there could be a top. I think they're so rotted, though, that the plaque probably wouldn't stay on. <laughs> Make it a patch for the dumpster itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got to get moving um, on. If you make a motion, I will sign those for you because it's just one signature. For? The solid waste net metering. So we want to make a motion that Shannon signs for us? So move. So move. Motion's been made and seconded to have Shannon sign the contract with Wyndham Solid Waste net metering system. Are there any? Yes, second. Is there a second? For the board. Yes. select board. Yes. Is there a second? Yeah, there a was second. a second. That's why I said that. A second. There was are you there? Are, are, are you? All those in favor of the motion signify saying aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? The ayes have it. Now we're down to pay orders again. There we are. Another communication correspondence tonight. Okay, uh, thank you very much.